Hey, welcome to this new video. In this new video, we are going to trace a 96 well plate using the trace bitmap function in Inkscape. Then we will use some path effects to adjust it so that we would be able to edit different individual parts of the object. By the way, my name is Dr. Tachu Babila and I am here to guide you on how to use Inkscape for creating figures and illustrations for scientific publications. My inspiration for this video comes from an Adobe Illustrator tutorial from the Stanford School of Medicine made by Carlos Gonzalez and Dr. Kite Ng. I have links to their tutorials in the description for those of you using Illustrator. But here in Cameroon for our class, we will stay with Inkscape since it is free, and I would not encourage any of you here to get a pirated version of any proprietary software. To make things look comparable, I will do the same Google search done in the lecture. I will go to Google and search for 96 well plate template and find this first one from cellsignet.com. By the way, if you click here on settings and then on this drop down on the type, you will see different types of images. For tracing especially complicated images, it is advisable to choose line drawing. So I am going to right click on the image and copy it, then go to Inkscape and paste the image using Ctrl V. To know its attribute, whether it is an image or a vector object, use the selection tool to select the image and look up the description down here below. Now while the image is selected, go to Path, Trace Bitmap. In this window on the upper right hand side will come up, choose the mode or set the mode and you will see here single scan and the hint that it creates a path. A path is a vector. Choose brightness cutoff, let the threshold be at 0.5 and this other one below at 0.65 and set the number of scans to the lowest. In this case, it is going to be 2. Select Live Preview if you wish. For my case, I will leave it at Update. Therefore, choosing Update will always update the image to the last parameters I set up here. Once you have set all the parameters like you see here, go and hit OK to have the traced object on the image. Now you will have two objects, one on top of the other. Holding down the control key, grab one of the objects and pull to the side. I have a detailed description for how these different parameters here work, which I am going to give the class as an assignment. But if anyone out there wishes to know how this work, I will be doing a tutorial once I have above five requests. I will go ahead and close this window. Now we may wish to color our plate to illustrate an experiment. Click on the two objects sequentially and look below here in the status bar to notice that one is an image and the other is a vector path. I will make a note here so we see which is an image and which is a vector. Now select the vector object and take Ctrl D to duplicate so that we have a control plate to see what we have done with the trace plate. Pull down the new duplicate here below. Now you may wish to color some of the worlds. For instance, select the object, right click. You will notice that you cannot ungroup. Also go to Object, Ungroup and notice that you cannot ungroup either. To color the individual plates, we will need to break the object apart. To do this, select the object, go to Path, Break Apart. The object will turn black, do not panic. Go to Object, Fill and Stroke, set the fill to Known, select Stroke Paint and choose Flat Color. 
adjust to black if necessary, select stroke style and adjust the stroke to a width of say about 0.176 mm, which is the width used for most journals, or you may use any width of your choice. Click by the side of the plate to deselect and here we have a beautiful copy of R96 well plate. You may wish to rewrite the alphabets by the side or the numbers if you choose to do so. You will also notice you can now select the individual wells and assign colors to them. So here we have a fresh plate. You can now color the individual wells to simulate results from an experiment. So let us select these three and color them a shade of red. We hold down the shift key, select them sequentially, release the shift key and then go to object fill and stroke and choose a color or to make things quicker we choose from here below and let us select these three again and paint them a shade of red and we hold the shift key down again select them sequentially and then choose the next shade from below here and we can go on and on to get a beautiful illustration. Now there is one important difference between this object and the original parent vector object on which we have not yet applied the break apart command. If you use the node tool and click on this original object, you will notice it has a lot of nodes. This takes up a lot of memory space in your computer. If we however select one of the wells below and hit N to access its nodes, we will see it has fewer nodes compared to when we used the trace function directly. This saves a lot of memory in the computer. I have a gift for you. I am presently compiling a list of different science and engineering SVG illustrations you can pick up and easily edit for your work. This will be time saving for you and a game changer. I have uploaded a Vector Graphic 96 web plate there for you. Feel free to visit our website below and subscribe and download SVG images which you can quickly adjust in Inkscape or Adobe Illustrator. Thank you for watching. If you find the video useful, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing by hitting the red button down here below if you've not yet done so. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.